Good morning, everyone. Today we'll be discussing phlebotomy, specifically the order of veins we prefer in the arm for putting in an IV cannula. I see such wonderful students today. So does anyone know which vein is typically our first choice? Absolutely, Dr. Hassan. The median cubital vein is usually the first choice. That's correct. The median cubital vein is located in the anticubital fossa. Can anyone tell me why we prefer this vein? It's large and well anchored, which makes it easier to access and less likely to roll. Exactly. It's also generally less painful for the patient. What would be our second choice if the median cubital vein isn't accessible? The second choice would be the cephalic vein. Yes, the cephalic vein is on the lateral side of the arm towards the thumb, and it is often visible and easy to palpate, though sometimes it can be more difficult to locate in certain patients. What challenges might we face when using the cephalic vein? It can be deeper or more difficult to anchor compared to the median cubital vein. Correct. Now, if neither the median cubital nor the cephalic veins are suitable, which vein do we turn to next? The basilic vein. It is on the medial side of the arm, towards the pinky. Oh yes, but while it can be a good option, why is it generally our last choice? It's less well anchored and closer to arteries and nerves, which increases the risk of complications. Absolutely right. It's less stable and more prone to movement, and the proximity to the brachial artery and the median nerve makes it a higher risk option, since basilic vein is usually our last option. In cases where none of these veins are suitable, what other options do we have? We could use the veins on the back of the hand. Yes, hand veins can be an alternative, though they are usually smaller and can be more painful for the patient. Well, at the end, just to recollect the order of preference while putting in an intravenous cannula in arm, first choice is median cubital vein, second choice is cephalic vein. Then, if none of these two seem accessible, then try any vein on the back of the hand. And remember, basilic vein is always the last choice due to proximity to the brachial artery and median nerve. Good job, everyone. Remember, proper technique and vein selection are crucial for patient safety and comfort. Keep learning to save lives and always stay blessed.